In this video, you are going to learn how to enable the hardware encoding in Premiere Pro for smoother editing and faster rendering. Coming up. Hi everyone, I'm Harshwardhan. Welcome to harshwardhanart.com. In this video, I will show you how you can enable the latest feature of the Adobe Premiere Pro that is hardware encoding. This enables you to edit faster because this utilizes the hardware power of your system. Earlier, the Premiere Pro was relying on the software rendering for giving you the preview while editing. And this hardware encoding and decoding also helps you to just render out your sequence very fast. So you can save lots of time and the editing is just a buttery smooth with the help of this new option. By default, this option option is not enabled. If you want to enable this, you just need to follow some simple step. So for that purpose, you have to watch this video carefully till the end because if you miss any part, you may not get the hardware encoding or decoding for your Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's get started. And before we go any further, please hit the like button. If you have any question or if you want to say something, leave that in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing for more tips, tricks and tutorials. So let's get started. If hardware encoding is not working for you, let me show you when you export your footage or your project, you will see over here in the export settings. If you go down over here encoding settings, you will see that there is nothing in the encoding settings. You will see there is only software encoding option and this option is grayed out. That means hardware encoding is not available for Premiere Pro and you cannot use the hardware encoding. So. It's very easy to enable this hardware encoding because that features makes you render your videos faster or your project or sequence faster. So what you have to do, just launch the Premiere Pro and open any project in this. And thereafter, you have to press Ctrl plus F12 key on your keyboard. Or if you're using Mac, then press Command plus F12 key on your keyboard and thereafter you will see this kind of a dialog box over here what you have to do you have to come over here on this hamburger menu right click and thereafter you have to select the debug database view once that would be open you will see lots of option right here just type hw and press enter and you will see lots of option so main option you can see there is false 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 so you have to just enable them so in order to enable them you have to just check them and that would make it true so first thing which you have to enable hardware encoding hw encoding always enable all right and second is dva ui simulate hw e and c just enable it then you have you will find simulate hw encoding hw enable just click on the enable and then hw decode m4v just enable it that would turn it to true and export mpeg simulate bad hw driver for export just leave it as it is and then select the export mpeg for feature allow amd hw export so if you have the AMD card, that would be available for you. And then the uh, second one, HW for the Intel. So just enable this one as well. And then we have the uh, this feature for NVIDIA HW, just enable it. So it would be available for the NVIDIA cards as well. And then you have to come down over here on the Intel encoder, use HWA accelerated encoding. encoding. So just enable this as well and thereafter you have to just close it and then you have to restart your Premiere Pro so let me just restart it after relaunch open any project and then when you will export the sequence press Ctrl M or Command M to open the export settings and then when you will just go down in the encoding settings 
in the export settings you will see the encoding settings hardware encoding is now by default available for you so if you click on this arrow you have the option of software encoding or hardware encoding and by default har hardware encoding would be enabled so this is how you can easily enable the hardware encoding in the Premiere Pro and this works for most of the Premiere Pro versions. So thank you so much. I hope you found this video useful and now hardware encoding and decoding is enabled for your system. And if it is not, please let me know in the comment section below. And once again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing for more amazing tips, tricks and tutorials. And please don't forget to share this video to help others to enable this latest feature for the Premiere Pro. So thank you so much. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you.